Hello everybody, today's video I'm going to show you how I built this pool noodle sea turtle boat. Let's get started. Now to start this project out, I need a good template and this very large piece of cardboard and a marker will do just fine. So I'm going to draw out the turtle, just the left side, and after I draw all that out, I'm going to go ahead and use a razor knife and cut it out so I get a nice clean edge. Using my template, I'm tracing out one side of the turtle. When that's done, flipping over the cardboard and tracing out the other side. Now if you're wondering why I'm using two pieces of wood, the wood is actually left over from a project. I want to recycle it, otherwise I definitely would be using one sheet of plywood. Because the front flippers of the sea turtle are going to be way too big to fit on the original piece, I'm just using a separate piece of plywood and tracing it out just like the first one. Now that all my pieces are traced out, I'm just going to use a jigsaw and cut them all out. For this step, I'm just simply drilling out holes all over the pieces of wood, and these holes will be used later for zip ties. All the drilling is done, and before I applied the polyurethane, I went ahead and hit it with a belt sander to kind of smooth it out. Now for the sealant, I decided to use a polyurethane. I'm going to apply five coats to every side. Well, it did take all day and night, but the wood is finally dry, and it actually turned out pretty good. Now I'm going to take all the wood, use some screws, and attach it all together. To hold all this together, I decided to use some exterior screws. They're just more weather resistant and will give me better protection against the water. Because I like to err on the side of caution, I decided to use these 4x4 plate covers, which you get in the electrical section, and all they're going to do is just add extra strength. Now for the fun part, noodles and zip ties. Here I just keep adding noodles until I go all the way through and do have a complete layer on the top. I decided that the bottom of the boat needs two layers so here's a shot of the first layer and here's a shot of the second layer. To make the shell I decided to use a thin wall half inch PVC and a heat gun. Now I used the heat gun to get the shapes that I wanted which were one large outer circle one small support circle, and eight ribs. To assemble the shell, I started with the large circle, placed it on the turtle, and kind of roughly marked where I want the ribs to be. Then with a hacksaw, made my cut, and inserted a half inch T. Next, after all my T's are in place, I marked on a five gallon bucket where the other end of the rib should go, using a paddle bit, made eight holes, and then inserted my ribs. Mmm, ribs. Oh. Moving right along, just inserting the other ends and hitting those with PVC glue along the way. After that, to attach a smaller circle, just drill some holes and use a screw and a nut to secure that down. For the noodles on the shell, I used two techniques actually. Uh, the first one was to cut a long line down the pool noodle and just slide those onto the two circles and also the ribs. The next technique was to take a bolt with some string, feed that through the hollow center of the tube, go all the way around, tie a knot, go all the way up to the top, and this is what it looked like when it was finished. The one last noodle project is gonna be the seat. Now I used a five gallon bucket lid and I'm using zip ties catching those together is kind of making a cool pattern. Now to finish off this boat I'll have to do a couple more things. First I added a ratchet strap and that's just to hold the shell to the body. Here's the underside and here's a shot of the top side. For the motor mount I decided just to use a 2x4, painted it green, secured it down with some screws, added my battery. Just in case you're wondering, all the wiring is just underneath the shell. Now we're all set. Go hit some water.
It was definitely a lot of fun at the lake. I had a great time. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing some behind the scenes stuff like videos, pictures, that sort of thing, go ahead and check out the Super Goku One Facebook page. The link is below. Thank you for watching as always. Take care and God bless.